lot of work has gone into this. To date, we have um, 297 uh, cows here now. We're still expecting another 500. Uh, and it keeps growing like that. So all that you're seeing is preparing the animals for milk. All of them are pregnant. So when they deliver and the calves are also bound to grow quickly and be in a position to produce milk. And from what you've heard the manager mention, this is a 24-7 operation when it is fully operational the milk would come out of the parlor 24 seven. And, and then transportation, marketing, other aspects of the value chain will come into the picture. What we want to prove with this is that first it's possible. Rather than importing milk into the country, we have the capacity to produce milk. And at some point to ensure that we inseminate with the local breed and then ensure the local breed is also in a position to produce more milk. Right now, they're not able to produce as much as the Jesse cows that are really milk cows. So, the feed would also be grown locally on the farm. We've already given about 500 hectares of land. From what the manager is saying, they're going to need another 500 hectares of land so that they're able to produce enough feed to take care of the animals here. And more people will be employed, don't forget that. When there's more uh, feed to produce on the farm, we're connecting the water directly from a road dam so that irrigation here would also be seamless and water would not be a problem for them. So on, on all counts, we're ready to go. We have an experienced person in charge who's done this uh, tons of times before coming to work here and uh, we're reasonably confident that this is a partnership that will work with Promacido. It also stresses the point about public-private partnership. Uh, this dairy farm has been here, as you all know, <laughs> for the better part of the last 40 years and it has not been put to use. This is the first time that it's going to be put to proper use it's meant to be and demonstrate that this is no rocket science. A Greek, as we've always said in the state, is the pathway to progress, particularly for us, we are agrarian. It also helps us avoid the clashes we've seen. These cows are going to be stationary. They're not roaming everywhere. Anyway. They're not going on open grazing. They are right here on the farm. You know what we have suffered from open grazing not just in the state, but across the length and breadth of the country. Once this model works, when we're talking about National Livestock Transformation Plan, this is what we're saying.